How we induce labour depends on why you are being induced and whether you have had babies born vaginally in the past. The plan for your induction will be discussed with you and your doctor and you can discuss any concerns you have. On arrival, you will have a vaginal examination by the midwife who will feel your cervix and work out how long and thick it is, how high or low baby's head is, and how many centimetres dilated it is, if any. They are trying to assess, with the plan your doctor has made, which is the most appropriate method to get you into labour. A cook balloon is the first line method of induction at St Michael's Hospital. This method is hormone free and reduces the chance of hyperstimulation or excessive contractions. If a cook balloon cannot be placed, then if appropriate, a propest pessary is given instead. A balloon aims to create gentle pressure on the cervix, making it thin out and open. A balloon is inserted by doing a vaginal examination, either with our fingers or with a speculum, similar to when a cervical smear is done. The cook balloon catheter is threaded through the cervix, and a balloon is inflated just above the cervix under the baby's head and membranes. A second, lower balloon is then inflated just below the cervix in the vagina. The cervix is gently pressed from both sides, encouraging it to thin and open. In order to have a cook balloon placed correctly, the cervix has to be at least half a centimetre dilated, so that the tip of the deflated balloon can fit through. If your cervix is completely closed, then insertion of a cook balloon will not be possible. If your baby's head is very high and not fixed in the pelvis, then a balloon may not be appropriate as it could push baby's head further away. This does not happen if your baby's head is fixed in the pelvis. It is often best to insert the balloon with your legs placed in the lithotomy position so that your cervix is easier to reach. This may be uncomfortable, however, most women don't find it more uncomfortable than having a pessary inserted. As cook balloons rely on mechanical pressure to open the cervix, there is less risk of hyperstimulation or contracting too much. Very few women go into labour with just the balloon. The main aim is to thin and open the cervix so that your waters can be broken. The balloon is removed after 12 to 24 hours, and if it is not possible to break your waters due to lack of space on delivery suite, then we would offer you a stretch and sweep. This might help you go into labour.